Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a review of these lip crayons from Bari M. They are the Matte Me Up lip crayons and I have dress rehearsal and make a statement, I believe. So three and five. I have very much been in love with these for a while. They did actually make an appearance in a favourites video a while ago. Um, and I kept meaning to get around to doing a review, just it took a while. I apologise. These retail for four ninety nine, and they're just your normal lip crayon pencil that you can twist up and down. They are lovely and creamy to apply, like really, really nice and creamy to apply. Um, and there's no nasty smell of them. There is a wee bit of a not chemically scent, but definitely a sweet scent sweet perfumey kind of scent of them. It's not overwhelming but just in case you're you're wondering there is a wee bit of a scent of them. I like the packaging it's got a nice click and so let me just unclick you can just oh that's not gonna click for me now is it nice click so the lid definitely stays in place which is always good when you have these sort of products you don't want to put it in your handbag the lid comes off everything gets covered in lip crayon not the best thing in the world um, there is a nice range of colours. I think there's about five or six colours available. But I've had these two and I really like them. So I've done some lip swatches for you. I'll start off with this one that I'm actually wearing. This is three. This is sort of a my lips but better sort of shade. It reminds me of... It reminds me of this NARS pencil. This is in... Oh, I can never pronounce it. It's Rik Rikujin and it's a satin lip pencil. Now you can see here, so that's the NARS lip pencil there and that's the Barry M matte pencil. Now this is obviously a bit more matte than the satin, it says it in the name, there's a surprise. But as this doesn't become fully matte, you can kind of get away with it. This is a bit more sheer, so if you wanted to get the same effect you just use your finger to shear it out a bit. You'd apply a bit in the centre, apply a bit of this in the centre and shear it out a bit. Possibly pop some gloss over the top. But that's why I initially picked it up. I thought, oh, there's a nice wee dupe. So it's almost a dupe, but not quite, because as I said, this is definitely, the colors are ever so slightly different, but there's not a massive difference in it, in my opinion. So that's the set, the lip satin, the NARS one, Barry M one. I don't think there's a massive difference in it, um, apart from the finish. Um, the color is pretty close. Um, these are really nice to wear, so I have done a lip swatch, you can have a good close-up look of this. This applies really nicely, as I said, quite a nice velvety smooth application, really easy to apply, so you're not going to end up with it all over your face. Not that you would unless you're actually doing that, that's, you know, not the best idea. But um, really, really easy to apply, nice pigmentation, nice payoff. Uh, this one doesn't stay in the lips massively, maybe because it's quite similar to my own lip colour, that there's not a massive difference, so I don't notice any staining as much. I do have to apply it by midday, so it lasts till about lunchtime, maybe. If I've had lots of cups of tea, it'll have come off, depends how my day is going. Um, I really like this one though because it is just a lovely everyday nude that you can just pop on really easily. Nice to have in the handbag if you need to touch up and you don't want to put on another colour, you can just pop this one on. I really, really like it. Would definitely recommend checking it out. Oh, the red one, which I almost chucked, which is Make a Statement, the five one. Again, so easy to apply. You can see where I'm applying it and I may have messed it up on initial application and I just took my finger, swiped it along. Not a problem. If you leave it for very long in the wrong place, it will definitely stain. This one tends to stain a bit more or a bit more obviously than this one. Um, so it applies nicely. I tend to mostly cover my bottom lip and then just press my top lip down into it and then add my Cupid's bow. I don't have a massive top lip so I can get away with doing it like this but you can just easily apply it. It's not particularly hard at all. Sometimes with a red I'm always a wee bit worried about applying it, but this one is great to wear during the day when you want to wear red, but you want something that's going to stay in place. As I said, it will go mostly matte, but there is a sort of velvety finish to it, so it doesn't look really dry, and it doesn't feel very dry on your lips either, which is another bonus, so it's not particularly drying. This one definitely stains, as I said, that bit more. Doesn't mean you don't have to apply, because it seems to... 
Um, if, like myself, you've got cracky lips, sort of, I guess my lips are a bit old or something, I don't know, I've just always had thin lips, so um, it'll sink into the crevices of my lips. And I'm a terrible for biting my lips and pulling the skin off, so I've got those lines in my lips quite naturally. Um, so I do have to touch it up again at lunchtime, even though there is a stain there. It does wear off mostly evenly, but it's not that, sorry, it doesn't go into the crevices, but the crevices become apparent in my lips, so it does the opposite. Um, so I do definitely have to touch up, but it wears quite nicely. It doesn't go really patchy, it doesn't go uneven, it doesn't go bally, it doesn't go horrible. You can touch up with both of these, you can apply it over the top without a hassle, which is good because sometimes you have these products and you just have to almost take it off to reapply it. So that is it. I have nothing further to add really. I like them both. I would definitely recommend checking it out. This is such a good everyday red that you can get away with wearing all of the time and it's not going to end up in your teeth. This is a great everyday where generally if you're looking for a nude, this is a great one. would definitely recommend checking it out. They're both a bargain price at 4 99 and I like the twisty uppy bit and I like the click action of the lid and I just generally like them. And more often than not, if you go into Boots, Superdrug or wherever you pick these up, there's going to be a three for two or a buy one get one free or you know some sort of deal so if there is would recommend checking these out and picking up a few so that is it if you have any questions please let me know down below i will leave the link to the blog post below where there will be close-ups of the lip swatches and hand swatches and everything else thank you very very much for watching please like if you liked please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye